What's up, YouTube? PK with PK Gaming Nine Thousand here uh, today, bringing you a live because we're live right now. We are live right now, but uh, a video that kind of shows you a prep guide to Witch Queen and kind of what what I feel you need uh, to kind of have uh, ready, um, you know, to go for Witch Queen. So, um, you know, I have a couple different uh, things here that I want to kind of show off. Um, uh, first things first, one of the things that we need to do is make sure we have pre-seasonal checklist and then uh, vault cleaner and that type of stuff. However, I'll get into the vault cleaner and why I think, um, you know, stocking up on some weapons might be a good idea. Uh, but let's start off with the bounties and whatnot. Um, so with the bounties here, I utilize a site. It's called destinyrecipes.com. Um, cap actually, uh, showed me this site. Uh, it's a great site and, um, you know, I absolutely love using it. And so, uh, what this allows you to do is to keep track of the bounties that you've, um, picked up or completed and how it does that is obviously you can see here the bounties that are lit up. Um, I've either picked up and the ones that have exclamation points, I've completed them. So if you look at my hunter here, this one's lit up because I picked it up. However, I have not completed it yet. But the ones with the exclamation points, you have uh, completed it. And the grayed out ones are ones that you have not picked up and not completed as well. And if you notice, under each bounty, it has a number. So uh, let me see if I can't uh, give this a, a little quick zoom here for you guys. So as you can see here, it has like 12,000 for some of the bounties. And then some of the bounties have 6,000 here. Um, what that means is that, um, what that means is that, uh, the, the XP that you get from turning in one of the bounties will give you 12,000 XP. Um, and then one of them will give you 6,000 XP. Why is that important? Well, at the start of the season, you know, the, the thing that you want to do is you want to get your artifact. So play the game get the artifact next season. It might be a little bit differently because, um, you know, they, they, they showed in the video clips that we're allowed to use the artifact that we've gotten. So that's going to be a little bit interesting and in how they kind of, uh, deliver that and what that entails. However, when you do normally get the artifact, that's when you're allowed to kind of, uh, gain XP towards unlocking certain mods for that season. Um, so step one, get the artifact step two join a friend and get to rank at least rank five of the season i believe once you hit rank five of the season um you get uh what is called shared wisdom uh buff which um some seasons they actually had it active right away but i noticed last season you had to hit rank five and then it started showing up uh for for me and my fire team so at least the ones that i was running with that's when it showed up for us um, but essentially what that means is that you're going to get more XP when you turn in your bounties with, with clan mates or teammates and, and whatnot. And so step one, have the artifacts. Step two, make sure you're rank five and you are able to see shared wisdom on your screen when you are, um, in a destination to turn in bounties. Uh, step three is, um, you know, turn in your bounties, get to specific levels, um, and, uh, unlock the XP bonuses. So, uh, as you can see here, we have the ghost shell, which is 10%, uh, make sure you apply that ghost shell. So step one artifact, step two, shared wisdom, step three, make sure you have the XP boost 12% for your ghost mod equipped. Um, the season pass has certain ranks throughout the season pass. That'll give you XP bonuses. Um, generally they, they kind of space them out. So you have one at like level 20 one at like you know i think 45 one at you know 65 one at 85 and then uh one at like 94 or something like that for the final one but the season pass boost should should total up to 20 percent um so it's a little little but what this what this is intended to do is get you there quicker um so it's more vital to kind of turn these in once you have the artifact than it is to turn it in for the season pass because you'll get the the xp boost eventually with the season pass however um you know unlocking it faster is the key so that you know for the rest of the season you have the flat 
XP boost to level your artifact. But uh, the reason why you want to have your artifact is because obviously you unlock the mods with the artifact and you start earning XP for your artifact uh, right off the bat when you turn in these bounties. So right now, of the bounties that I have, I have stored uh, almost 2 million XP already. Um, so I'm at, you know, once I complete this one, I'll have 1938, seven, 700. Um, so what, what can you do once you, um, you know, complete your bounties? Uh, that's when you start stocking up on materials. So what I would recommend is making sure that you have all the 12 K bounties completed. Uh, we have iron banner next week, so you'll have a chance to get at least for the iron banner bounties. If you have not, as you can see here, I have four saved up. And I have two that are grayed out. So these two that are grayed out are going to are gonna become hopefully available for me next next week. And if they are available for me next week, then I'm going to have six Iron Banner bounties. And six times 12, we all know, 72. So 72,000 XP uh, per character, which is phenomenal. So obviously you know that uh, you can only hold one Star Horse bounty. So what I would recommend is not doing what I did for my Warlock and picking the one that requires 180,000 points uh, completion. Just grab one of the ones that, that also offers a 12K XP boost. And uh, it might be like the one that offers like 140,000 for a run. But make sure that you have as many 12K bounties as possible. And then after you have a sufficient amount of 12K bounties uh, for the week, you have like two weeks to kind of prep for this. So like sometimes Hawthorne does refresh her bounty. So she had might have like two bounties that she might not have normally. Um, Cause I'm completing the two that I haven't done. Um, so those are all 12 K. So once you have those completed, that's when you start filling in with the six Ks. Uh, Cause then, um, and those are the dailies. Don't get the repeatables. The repeatables are nothing more than two K. And so they're, they're kind of useless in my book. So, uh, the repeatables will or the dailies will come around so that you can fill up your your bounty list. And a tip to kind of help you get more space for bounties is by clearing out your quests, your quests, and getting rid of the things that are kind of in the middle screen of your character. By doing that, you free up uh, more bounty space uh, to hold different bounties. So that's bounties. I hope that kind of answered it. Um, the next thing you gotta want to look into is your materials. So over here. Um, is a kind of a score guide to how prepped you are based on how many materials you have down below. Um, so here's all my materials that I have. Uh, they recommend you have 2000 of each. So spider is going away next season. So tangled shore, boom, gone. Um, what's great about him though, is he refreshes daily. So on the daily, he might be able to sell one of these materials for a legendary shard. And if you're like me, and have been playing for a while or maybe you've been playing since beyond light or you know you've you've saved up some legendary shards um you know one legendary shard for five materials is not a bad deal and sometimes he even offers um you know legendary shards uh for um a material that you would then need to use to buy a certain other material so that's even okay to kind of like trade up to where like you're trading legendary shards to buy a bunch of this material to turn that material in to get more of this material. And it works out because once you hit that uh, specific number with the material you're using um, to get more of the, the material that costs it, um, you'll then just start refilling your material that you use to buy that uh, with the legendary shards that you have available. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty good at 27,510. So I'm pretty good on legendary shards, uh, but I also have all the different other materials um, as well. So upgrade modules, you can only hold 25. I have 24 right now. Um, I could just buy buy one at Banshee and be good right before the server shut down. Um, this is kind of an interesting one. Para, uh, Paraversal Hall, which is the uh, box that Xur sells in his um, little loot cave. And um, what they're speculating here is that this is actually going to help you get to soft cap a lot quicker um, because of the fact that it should give you um, decent gear. So people are saying buy these for the strange coins and you can only hold 20 of them. So buy them for the strange coins and then um, you'll have 20 to open uh, at the start of the new season. So 
I'll be kind of uh, monitoring that day. You know, I'll open one or two, see what level it drops at for me. And then if it drops at like a, a decent high level, I might just pop them all there um, one at a time, put the gear on because that's just the way I've been doing it since D1 and then go from there. And the same thing goes with the treasure key. So the treasure key is something that he holds in his in his area that you can open that chest and get weapons and stuff like that out of it. Um, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold on some of these uh, that way. If you uh, pull a weapon or something like that, like say you get your gear and you're missing a weapon to help you level up, you can pull something from there and hopes to get a a weapon to drop that will be at that that level. Um, a big one here is the Ascendant Shards. These you can get by doing the um, Master Vogue. You can do it by uh, completing um, Legend, um, Grasp of Averse uh, uh, Dungeon. Um, and you can do it by uh, completing GMs, GM Nightfalls, Grandmasters. And you can, you can, I think you can also get it um, from Master Nightfalls. It just, it might be a little bit more rare uh, to get them from there. Um, but the key thing is in your inventory for all three characters, you can only hold 10. But in your character specific Postmaster, so your Warlock, Titan, and Hunter, or what have you, um, you can hold 10 additional in each one of those characters postmaster. So the total that you can hold is 40 and I'm currently sitting at 32. Um, for the prisms, um, you can only hold 50 in your inventory for all three characters. And then per characters postmaster, you can hold an additional 50. So I'm holding about 146 um, and the total should be about 250 for that. And uh, I'm not at 250. So I already have 100 for one. And then I should be like together. I have 46, but you know, uh, it should be 250 that you can hold there. So I'm, I'm still good, but I could be a lot better. Enhancement cores, you can just get them by popping the matter web. Uh, I think it's the Matterverse uh, strand or whatever, where it guarantees you a, a enhancement core for, def for defeating a boss. Um, there's other ways that you can do it, where like I think there's a ghost mod. Sorry, I'm yawning. I've been a long day. Uh, I think there's a ghost mod that you can put on um, that'll help uh, increase that. And then the last one is obviously spoils. If you're a raider like I am and you're probably looking at this guide, like how do I prep so I can possibly partake in day one? Um, spoils conquest is definitely something that you want to have. Uh, that way, if you do end up completing the raid, whether it's day one or that week, um, you can use this at the end of the raid to kind of buy more gear from that raid. Uh, to to spec yourself out in in raid gear. Um, <clears throat> going on to the weapons here, um, <clears throat> they're making some changes to the masterwork weapons system, and so there's going to be a mod that that's going to be placed on your helmet. I believe that helps duplicate orbs. Um, so like weapons to me, uh, as of right now, go in with what you're comfortable with. Uh, just have have a couple weapons in mind. You know, we already know that scout rifles are going to be barrier. Um, and then I believe something else is going to be, I think pulse or something like that is going to be overload or something either that, or it's going to be SMG. Um, however, they did state that the SMG change might be a little bit more immediate than it normally is. Um, so hopefully that's true because that almost wiped us when we did, um, glassway GM when it was, uh, SMG overload there. Uh, but we'll see. But, you know, in my opinion, just go in with what you're comfortable with um, because of the fact that we have weapon crafting. So we're going to all want to learn what to do with weapon crafting. We're all going to want to get our hands on it. So, um, you know, I would just make sure that you have a comfortable amount of exotics that you like using up to 13. Um, you know, I wouldn't even say I don't need I wouldn't even say uh, use an upgrade module for this. You know why? Because they're going to boost everything up to 1350 regardless. Um, that's why. So I would just. uh I would just warm up Outbreak Perfected. I would warm up Graviton Lance. I would warm up Sunshot. Um, you know, the bows are fantastic. Even the Trace Rifles. They, trace Rifles are getting a buff, so Age Receptor is going to be nasty in PvE. All this other stuff. Um, when it comes to Vault Space, uh, here's my opinion on the Vault Space thing. Uh, weapon Crafting's coming. Um, mentioned that before. Uh, so vault space is, you know, everybody's running out of it. 
everybody's running out of it. You know, more people I asked are like, when are they going to increase vault space, including myself? I was pretty mad if they weren't going to increase vault space for this update because I have a lot of weapons. Now, watching Dado's videos on, on cleaning people's vaults, he, he does have some great points, but it's it's per player. It's it's how the player wants to play. If players want to collect and kind of have different roles of each weapon, you know, that's how they're going to play the game. Now, you know, it shouldn't be like a, a blueprint of, hey, you, should, you shouldn't you should keep this weapon because of this reason. If the player has that weapon in there and he wants that weapon in there, then that should be the end of the question because everybody plays this game for a different reason. Um, however, with weapon crafting and people being able to take advantage of uh, re-rolling that same weapon or uh, like if they dismantle a roll that they crafted, they can pick that same roll back up because they already unlocked those perks for that weapon. So they just need the materials. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that this vault space thing is going to be a thing of the past because people are going to be keeping weapons that they specifically want and deleting the other ones and just keep recrafting them, try it, delete it if they don't like it and recraft it in a different way uh, to try to get a role that works for them. And then they'll put that one in the vault. But for prepping, I would keep putting stuff in the vault. Reason for that is Banshee is now going to be doing reputation. So he's going to be gaining reputation for your weapon uh, dismantling. So I already turned in my weapon um, materials, and I'll get that into the second because you should turn in your weapon materials. I told you to turn them in. I had I had 56,000 weapon materials, and I turned them all in. And I got a lot of legendary shards, and I got a lot of enhancement cores from them. Uh, but I did keep about 40 to 50 weapons and put them in my vault reason I did that was to purely test how much XP they give you for breaking down a weapon. And if they give you a lot, great. If they don't give you a lot, it was a great test. And I have like 120 free spaces in my vault already. So um, a little bit less than that, but it's probably around 100, at least 100, because I know I put in some some trash ones since I did that. So, um, but, you know, we'll see. But that's pretty much how what you need to, to kind of prep for this so um bounties 12k bounties first fill the rest with 6ks after you're done with the 12ks you got two weeks to do it do it this week do it next week iron banners coming back make sure to get those iron banner bounties done yes they said it's not going to drop at power level we don't care we're going for xp reason we're going for xp is because we're going to get our artifact and then we're going to get the rank five when we have shared wisdom. We're going to turn all that stuff in. And when we do, we're going to get our um, rank up even further. So, um, you know, we're going to be we're going to be sitting pretty. Um, we're going to be sitting pretty for some XP and hopefully unlock some mods a lot quicker uh, than usual. And that might help us out in the uh, legendary um, story mode. So. I hope this kind of helped you guys. I hope this information um, serves you well. And I hope that, uh, you know, you take advantage of the next two weeks to prep for it. Um, you know, some people I know, like I've been prepping for this uh, season for about a month now uh, with my bounties. And since the last Iron Banner, I started pushing because I got all the Iron Banner bounties done for each one of my characters last iron banner and that was kind of my start to grind for this so some people take it a little crazy and they go like two months ahead three months ahead um i feel like a month is fine i don't like to go overboard because uh then i i don't want to get burnt out before the season comes out but i hope this this kind of helps you guys out you still got time if you haven't started it's okay it's not the end all be all if you're going to be playing witch queen you're going to get there anyway there's nothing to stress about. It's just how do you maximize your start of Witch Queen right off the get-go, and I believe this is the best way to do so. So um, I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, leave a comment down below after the stream, um, you know, if you take advantage of this. Uh, if you have any more tips, you know, leave a comment down for people uh, who watch this video later. I'm going to try to download this video and edit this video and then put this up as a separate video for Prep Guide. Uh, so make sure to leave a comment down below on what you're doing to prep for Witch Queen, how you're excited for it, what you're excited about it, and I can't wait to read your guys' comments. So I will check you in the next one. Peace out.